In this video, we're going to go a little bit more in depth into the eukaryotic cell cycle. In our last video, we basically described how you can have interphase and mitosis, but that's not exactly true. Um, there's multiple parts to this cycle, and so we're going to actually break down interphase into three main phases. We have the G1 phase, so like we can basically consider this to be the start. Um, we have G1 which is a cell growth phase. A lot of people also call this the uh, gap one phase or first gap phase. Um, this is basically lots of regular daily cellular processes, right? Um, it's moving stuff around, it's synthesizing proteins, it's doing cellular respiration, blah, 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 regular cell activities. Um, S is the next phase, that is the synthesis phase. This is where DNA replication occurs. So basically when a cell decides to move from G1 to S, it has decided to undergo division. Why else would you copy your DNA? Um, then we get into the second gap phase or the second growth phase. And in G2, yeah, a couple of other um, cellular functions will occur, but the biggest difference between this and G1 one is that in G2, we are preparing the cell for division. Um, we are making extra organelles. We are doing anything else that we might want to do before dividing. Because again, we've committed to dividing. And then of course, M is mitosis, which is cell division. Uh, this is just another way to look at the cell cycle. Note that mitosis is over here now, not that that matters. Um, uh, the big difference that you should notice here is this presence of the G sub zero uh, portion here. Um, a cell that goes into G sub zero has decided that it will not divide, and it's just uh, in arrest, cell cycle arrest, which basically means it's going to go basically about its daily functions, but not ever divide. So just a little bit of definitions here. Mitosis is the division of the cell nucleus and has four parts, which we'll talk about later. And actually, at the end of mitosis, we get something called cytokinesis. They're actually two separate things. Mitosis is the division of the nucleus. Cytokinesis is going to be the division of the cytoplasm. So this is what actually divides the cell into two different cells. So you can imagine, my goodness, what would happen if we got mitosis and not cytokinesis or cytokinesis, but not mitosis in this last sort of image. You can see that really after mitosis comes cytokinesis and then starts G1.